hey guys it's Anne here welcome back to my channel for today's tutorial we will be doing this easy um, Ankara DIY skirt I do hope you find it easy and enjoyable to watch uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please do leave a comment on the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel trust me you will not regret that you subscribe to this channel For the big circle I measured 21 inches. I really wish I had enough material to actually make it a bit longer. Probably on my next skirt I will definitely make it longer maybe like 30 inches because it became a bit short it became shorter than I thought it would be but anyways just for the sake of the tutorial I will go ahead with the 21 inches. For the lining you just need to trace the circle onto the lining material you don't really have to measure uh, just to cut the process or to make everything easier for you trace it like how i'm doing here Before you actually cut out the circle where you will have an opening, uh, I would recommend for you to create a high-low type of circle like how I'm doing over here. To ensure that your lining uh, measures with the main material, I'd recommend for you to actually measure the high-low part as you can see here as I'm actually just measuring. And then go ahead and cut your opening right now. So I will measure five inches. I came up with this 
five inches is that I measured the circumference of my thighs where I would want the skirt part to actually stop that was about um, 20 then I divided it by four because the circle is folded into four I hope I am making sense but if I don't make sense kindly follow the steps and okay the circles were quite too big for me to actually show everything on the frame but as you can see here i'm just aligning um, aligning the lining as well as the main material before i actually go ahead and sew it together as you can see here i am pinning uh guys just for this part just be very very careful um, I would recommend for you to rather have the bottom part uh, which is where you are going to close by sewing all around just make sure that that part measures exactly with the lining once that part is done just go around and sew with the bottom part and leave the opening as is Go right ahead and actually repeat the same process um, for the smaller circle so just make sure that both your lining and the main material actually measures exactly the same measurements uh, so that you don't have any blobs or any uneven material For the smaller circle just make sure that it is smaller than the bigger circle but like I said on my the other circle I would have really loved for it to be longer so because I had a limitation of material that's the reason why um, this one will be smaller than what I actually wanted the skirt to be uh, I miscalculated my measurements, I miscalculated my material. However, I will do another skirt and I will keep you guys updated of the measurements. The opening for the smaller circle will still be 5 inches to match up with the bigger circle's opening. 
I hope I am making sense. Do not forget to create your high low for the smaller circle as well. Um, I really bit myself up because it was such a beautiful material but it was a limited material so all my sizes had to be downsized but I am going to definitely redeem myself with another beautiful print and I will definitely share with you guys. So before you actually go right ahead and sew everything together just make sure that everything fits together um, and it looks like how you want it to look however I keep on saying that I wish my material was a bit more so just make sure that you have enough material for your skirt to look beautiful it came out beautiful but I still would have wanted a bigger material. Look at that, look at that, look at that, it looks beautiful. And I am happy with how it is coming up.
for this part of the tutorial I'd recommend for you to iron the interfacing along with your lining instead of doing it after you have sewn the two circles together uh, because I struggled a little bit uh, trying to lay everything flat and ironing it it was just a bit of a challenge Here I am cutting up the skirt parts. Just make sure that you have enough material for those part as well. Um, yeah, just follow guys. I wasn't too sure about the skirt part because it was my first time actually doing a cotton with a zip skirt. So I tried my best.
after pinning everything together which is the skirt parts as well as the bottom part of the skirt um, that will be it for the tutorial I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, please if you have any questions regarding this tutorial please leave a comment on the comment section below and guys remember just also have enough material for your skirt because that's where I had a challenge um, I had less material than I thought I would need I would have loved for my skirt to actually drape lower than it is right now but I really loved it and I hope you also loved it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up please do subscribe if you have not subscribed and please do share the tutorial uh, see you on the next video